Mad Dog, and we are playing Kerbal Space Program. Last time, we designed, developed, tested, and built the EVA Explorer. Well, just EVA is what I called her. And the object of this thing is to fly to all the way to EVA and land on EVE. All the way to EVE and land on EVE. Yes. Where it will build a base over time and then eventually um, build a system that will allow it to take off from Eve and return to Kerbin. So we will jump right back into almost where we left off except for not quite because I, if you notice right up here, that, that I have a satellite st sticking on it that wasn't there before, I pulled it off my mini base and stuck it on there because I kept on running out of satellite signal. But now that as I look back, I, I had thought, oh wow, I forgot to put any satellites on Eve, Eva, I'm not uh, not satellites, uh, um, dishes, uh, communication devices. But I actually did have them on there. Just they're collapsible, and they're down below or on the section. But it's fine. I go throw in a different dish on there. We're gonna go ahead and speed up. We fly out here and head off towards Eve. But first, we're gonna have to bleed off some speed or. Um, I think in this case, yes, it's bleed off speed completely. We got to match our speed with Eva. Right now we're going at 16,000 uh, 16, meters per second compared to Eve. And uh, we're going way faster. So, and that, if we, we're going to, if we flew in, flew into orbit around it, there's no real reason to do that. Because I, I don't know what I'm thinking. It, yeah, come on. Thrust limiter here. Yeah. Fly back. This takes a lot more to control maneuver. It doesn't have near as fast spin turning capabilities as my uh, probe does, of course, because it's a lot larger. All right. See, is my orbit is way too fast. I uh, cleared out my save files a, a little bit, so it wouldn't be, oh, I had climbed all the way up to like a hundred and some clip save, so I had to clean it out a little bit there. What am I trying to do? I'm not going to spend all that Delta V. It's, that's going to be like 10K Delta V, and I only have three. Yeah, that isn't going to work. At this speed, if I try to use no arrow braking, I will rip myself to shreds. Instant explosion. You just watch. This will be funny. It'll be an instant explosion at this speed. I think. Yeah. Ready? Ready? Boom! <laughs> Yeah, that was bad. Don't do that. I need to fly away from Eva and go learn how to slow myself down. Oh, I'm going to try it again? A tad bit of arrow braking? Really? Ah, oh, nope. I'm going to fly on past it. Oh, we're using the... We are losing some speed by actually speeding up time. I'm letting time pass and us fly it closer to the out outer ranges of uh, out of the orbit around Eve by doing that. <laughs> See that I just realized, hey wait, I did have uh, things on it. Here I'm going to because I realize it's going to take time to get everything. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of base management. It's not a big thing, just a little bit of base management. Uh, making sure everything's actually building something productive while I'm gone. Uh, at this point, I think I just selected, yes, I did, the pot. 
the rec pot. And after I do this and the build the refinery, where's the, I'm going to rebuild the refinery here. I got to find a place to build it from though. And there's not any, not any places left to build from. Okay. Space center. We need to, like I said, we need to build a docking port of some sort. I said that in the last episode. All right, let's go ahead and build a docking port of some sort. I'm gonna use this as our base. Yes, scale it up. Um, can't attach it. Okay, so we're gonna have to attach it by some other means. Mm, yeah, these games are always good for uh, attaching stuff. If it would stop flipping around. There we go. Uh, do we need more than one? Two? Let's put three on it, on one docking port. not straight let's make it straight there we go docking bay once again not quite straight now I attach this piece to it but I didn't make it the root piece. I should have made it the root piece. Because if not by not making it the root piece means the picking grabbing it doesn't do anything. <laughs> it's okay. So we will now go head back to the mini base. And find a available docking piece to build it on. Hopefully here somewhere. Ah, oh, there's. What's this building? Ah, oh, the rec pot. That's right. Uh, once again, someone stole off with his screwdriver. Poor Bill. Everyone's thieving these screwdrivers. Look, they have to make another screwdriver kit. That's ridiculous. All right, here we go. Take the rock, the this thing, and uh, spin it around. Make sure it attaches the right direction. There we go. Attach. Fly back. At this point, I am uh, feeling a substantial amount of lag already. It's not unbearable yet. But that's because I have so many moving parts and so many radiators and and because the entire thing is can non-stop continuously shaking which is absolutely annoying and the docking bay it'll take a couple of days to it'll take a day to build the docking bay okay so we go back to Eva and once we're going to go ahead and do the dance around the sun to lose. All right. Relative velocity, dance around the sun. 
because we have to speed up. We have to go the opposite direction. I mean, we have to slow down. We have to go the opposite direction of Eve, Eva. Um, so, uh, here we're going to take a lot more to actually control this thing. Okay, so as I said, slow down. We're going the opposite direction almost of Eva, and we're going to let, let time pass, which will dramatically slow down my relatively velocity to Eva, a match its speed. I should have actually been on a complete 90, uh, 90 degree angle from Eva when I did that. It would have worked better, but it still bleeded off over 6,000 in meters per second. I blew off something by getting too close to the sun. Yes, I had blown those off. Got to be careful about that. There we go. Still going opposite direction from Eva. You can see. Oh, we're actually we're going. Nope. There, yeah, yeah, right there. We stopped going opposite direction. So we had to. We would begin to gain delta speed. To it. To it. So we. Docking bay is done. Oh, I've been out here for two days doing this. All right. So I'm going to skip through this whole process. Bleed off a good amount of speed there. Trying to match the relative velocity of it. Skip forward, skip forward, skip forward. I've bleed. I've got it all the way down to 4K. I think we're going to try to get it down to. Now this is over an hour long worth of time of me doing this. So, I mean, there's if you did the science and figured out exactly how to do it, it, if you figure out the mathematical formula, I'm pretty sure you could probably do it in maybe one tenth that time. But I couldn't find a formula or anything, and I'm not a math whiz, I'm total not understanding any of that stuff. But if you could find some type of thing online uh, that, that specifically tells you that type of I, I I'm guessing honestly I, I tell you to go the opposite direction if you're trying to slow down try, try to try to slow down relative to your target and try to fly, fly towards it if you're trying to catch up to it that's my from what I've seen it might be completely wrong I mean the tutorials are, the, none of them really made any sense the ones I watched it's just all trial and error that I've seen All right, we are now close to, to yep, we have gotten in almost orbit around Eva. I'm going to bleed off more speed by just letting time pass. And, oh, nope, I'm actually going to go ahead and spend the delta V required to get into orbit. No, I think I'm going to just let it, because if you fly away from the planet, oh, no, I want to go mess with the, this over here. This is dumb. Uh. <laughs> built, yay, there it is, it's built. As I said earlier, you can't grab this end because it's not the root. It should have been the root, but it wasn't the root. Yeah, kind of stupid of me. And it 
won't let me attach anything to that either. And knowingly so. That will let you attach to it. So there, I can then use that. But the only problem is, is you're always going to end up being left or right because it's not completely straight. It's fine though. Now I have a docking port, a docking bay to make more things from. The refried beans. Um, what else do I build? The relay, uh, an actual relay. Yeah, I build one of those here. something else <laughs> I really didn't well, I don't even know what that was I didn't even get to see what it was all right back to Eva switch to yes I thought so we're gonna let it Screwdriver was done. Well, screwdriver was done a long time ago. Start reactor. Let's see, five. So now we have 768 meters per second. If I actually just without using any de any delta V, just by flying away from, uh, leaving in close to leaving the orbit because you get slower as you fly away here I'm trying to bring down my per my apex without bringing my, my periaps into orbit that would cause me to blow up when I get close But the gravitational pull of Eva's heavier than what I can sustain like that. So here I go ahead and just spend the delta necessary delta V to get in a decent orbit around. Oh wait, I decide not to. Please tell me I don't spit around for a long time. It's been a while since I've actually gone back and looked at my own recordings a little bit. Uh, yeah, I try to land directly from here from here to there. I don't think that's going to work out too well. I'm pretty sure I'm going to burn up and blow away. I'm trying to also aim my try to just fly right on into it land right there I wonder if that were if I'm remember all right see you again being so overheated boom massive overheated everything gets overheated blows away of course it's going to can't come at that steep of an angle Try again. If you don't succeed, try, try again. <laughs> I'm going to just bleed off a lot of speed if I'm going to do that. Uh, oh, wait. I think this is going to work. Oh, that worked. This is 
and put out the parachutes. Collect the data. And we're going to have a successful landing on Eve. Yes. <coughs> we landed on Eve. With a base that we can actually begin to build. Reading some of those there. If you want to read them, you can pause. I'm reading them slightly myself. And for some reason, I lost my screwdriver again. So we got to build a screwdriver kit. That'll take a day. Let's make sure I turn on the reactor. Turn on everything. Turn these off. Don't need those. All right. They crashed when they decouple. That's fine. No, it's not me. And I reload again to try to stop that from happening. That worked. Yes. Yeah, ha, 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 ha. That blows up. No big deal. Come on. It's going to blow up no matter what you do. You're not going to be able to change that. Eve is gravity's heavier than what from that height collect the core sample we're gathering metal refining I mean we're gathering ore refining it into metal and no I did not check this site out if it had good or to or ratio or not I probably should have but with big drills you don't really have to send that off send that off send that off yeah lots and lots of science is going good. Look at all that science. Take an interpol tent yourself. All right. Space Center. Let's go ahead and see. We have 4,000. Well, <coughs> <coughs> what do we spend it on? 4,000 science. Daedalus. It doesn't have any thrust to the rate ratio in vacuum. I mean, outside of vacuum. Thrust value. Ooh. Wow. The question here is Does it require power to run? How, and how many megawatts if it does? Ah, antimatter collector. Might want to go for antimatter. Or increase. Nah, the EM drive's not worthwhile. Hmm, 
solar system stuff. I think we're going to try out, we might be able to make a beam power wall with solar system stuff. We have enough to go ahead and go ahead and get the top solar system. Beam power. Uh, I got beam power, but I don't think I stay with that choice. I actually reload. I do get this, but that's a big waste of resources right here. try out different power setups uh, but I'm not, I'm not sure exactly what I end up doing I'm pretty sure I get power take power and uh, different set uh, solar panel setups uh, eventually My idea with this is <clears throat> we can use a warp engine to I have to reload because I, I just spent the resource uh, science in the place I didn't want it. So I'm going to go ahead and get all this and get that. And then the next time when we come back, we will try to build a beam power wall um, giant solar array. So look forward to that. See you next time with me, Lord Mad Dog, and playing Kerbal Space Program. <laughs>